4 Baptism the birth in Jesus Once Nicodemus a Jewish leader came to Jesus and started talking about the miracles Jesus performed While talking Jesus said to him Very truly I tell you no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above The book of John chapter 3 verses 3 Due to the sin of our first parents, all of us are born in sin. The influence of this sin takes us away from good and tempts us to do evil. We call this sinful state original sin. The sacrament of baptism gives us a new birth. By this, we are made children of God and we are no longer slaves to sin. In baptism, we are born again of water and spirit. It purifies us from original sin and all actual sins, if any. Thereby, we also become participants of divine life and heirs to heaven. In baptism, we are set free from sin and we begin our life in Jesus. Hence, we term baptism an entrance to Christian life. The meaning of the term baptism is immersion or bath. We become the children of God and members of the church by participating in the divine life through baptism. Thus, we become the members of the body of Christ and enter into an ecclesial community. Baptism is the sacrament that sets us free from original sin and actual sin, if any, and makes us children of God, members of the church, and heirs to heaven. The ceremony of baptism begins at the entrance of the church. There, the celebrant asks the candidate, Do you want to be set free from the slavery of Satan? Answer, yes. Celebrant, do you give up sin and sinful ways? Answer, yes, I do. Celebrant, do you accept Jesus as your Savior? Answer, I accept. The celebrant anoints the candidate. Then the candidate is allowed to enter the church as a symbol of letting the candidate enter into the church, the body of Christ. It is the Godfather and Godmother who makes the promise and recites the creed for the infant who receives baptism. If adults receive baptism, they themselves do it. Baptism can be given in three different ways. In the name of the Holy Trinity, the candidate may be immersed in water and lifted up thrice. The candidate is made to sit in water and water be poured out on the candidate thrice with the sign of the cross or the celebrant may pour out water thrice on the candidate with the sign of the cross. First anointing, purification. Second anointing, birth in the Holy Spirit. Pouring of water on the head. Dying to sin and being born in Jesus. Third anointing, anointing in the Holy Spirit. Giving white garment, new life of grace. Giving lighted candle, symbol that he or she is to be the light of the world. Jesus decided that through baptism all should become children of God sharing divine life. He said to his disciples, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The book of Matthew chapter 28 verses 19 When we reached baptism we got divine life and the status of the children of God. We also became members of the church. Let us be earnest in not losing the fruits of this holy sacrament. Fruits of baptism sets us free from sin, gives us divine life, makes us children of God, makes us members of the church, makes us heirs to heaven. Let us pray. 
O oh God, you who blessed us to be the members of the body of Christ through baptism, gives us the grace not to lose the divine life in us. A word of God to remember. Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. The book of John, chapter 3, verses 5. Let us read the word of God with devotion. The book of John, chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. My decision, I will learn the creed by heart. Creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, the firstborn of all creation, born of the Father before all ages and not made, true God from true God, consubstantial with his Father. Through him the worlds were formed and all things were created. For the sake of us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and became incarnate by the Holy Spirit and became man and was conceived and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered and was crucified in the days of Pontius Pilate and died and was buried and on the third day rose again as it is written. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of his Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in one Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, the life-giving Spirit. I believe in one Holy, Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the remission of sins, the resurrection of body and life everlasting. Amen. Let us do. Collect the information and write. 1. Baptismal name 2. Godfather, Godmother 3. Date of baptism 4. The church where you received baptism 5. The priest who baptized you 6. Your motto